Well, does this make us a uh, lush cave now? With all of this sugar cane growing up? I don't know, but I like it. Hey, what's going on everybody? Agent Green here, back with the next episode in our Minecraft Survival Spelunking and Surviving Challenge Play. In the last episode, it was finally episode 10, and we went to the surface world, and finally, at the very last minute, found some sugar cane. I brought it down here, and it is thriving down here with us. Uh, we should probably go ahead and harvest this soon so that we can keep creating more of it, eventually get some book pages going, enchant some things, and just progress through the game. Since the last episode, I've done some work, um, and I figured, you know what? We don't need a bed in our little hidey hole anymore. We have a whole house, and I've worked a little bit on the house. I moved these uh, stalagmites and stalactites around. Uh, you can remember that. Stalagmites on the ground, stalactites on the top, because top starts with a T, and it's stalactite. Um, and then around our house, I put in shutters so that we have nice little window coverings that way, just in case anything comes in. Makes it feel a little bit more homey and a little bit more safe. Um, but back over here in our hidey hole, I decided, you know what? Uh, we have exhausted a lot of our coal supply, even tunneling all the way up to the surface, and I'm just kind of tired of making charcoal, even though these oak trees, uh, they grow really well down here. And so we've got a pretty steady supply of wood now, but if you put lava in a block and then cover that so that it's a lava and then another block, and then you put a stalactite, creates this dripping effect, and if you put a cauldron underneath of that, then you can eventually get a full cauldron. It's like creating lava. So we can go ahead and collect that, stick it in here for now, but eventually we could put that bucket of lava in our furnace for a fuel source, and then this is kind of like an unlimited free hot fuel source. And I'm really liking that green copper right there. I don't know why this one aged so fast, when we have our entire copper house and it's, it's aging along, it's getting nice, but it does not yet have that any of those green blocks. But we step inside, um, I have done a little bit of remodeling. I decided that the deep slate tiles were just too dark for inside this house. Um, we see a lot of those dark gray tones out here. And so, uh, still using natural materials, this is polished diorite tiles um, or slabs. Uh, I put that in the floor, and in this crate is the rest of our decorating. So, and see, these trees are growing super fast. But let's jump into this crate and grab all of our building materials, and we will get set to create a nice little home here. So first things first is I'm going to tear out this section of the floor. And this will become a nice little kitchen area. And we're going to use that with these stone brick slabs to kind of define the space. Then we can put some furnaces up here. We can put the blast furnace down there. I always like to think that it's heavier because it's a blast furnace. It's heavy duty um, and things like that. And then we can stick a crafting table over there. What else do we have in here? We've got some oak fence, a chest. Let's go ahead and put those in our kitchen. This will be a nice little countertop. We can put that chest there and fill it with food later. What else do we have going on? A cauldron and some water, we can do that. And now we have a nice little sink area as well. And I think that'll wrap it up for the kitchen area. So let's move over here. I plan this to be a little workshop area, nothing too major, but right now um, 
it'll have to do and we'll probably expand to another area in the future so what all do we want over here let's grab some of those supplies so for this area we're going to be using deep slate bricks instead of tiles and instead of polished tiles so they're a little bit more heavy duty if you will and I have a nice little chiseled one there just to be a little bit different. But uh, we can place the stone cutter in some of these uh, slabs like this, and we'll create a nice workshop countertop area that we can actually place things on top of. Whereas over here, these pressure plates, you can't put anything on top of them. So in the future, we may put a crate here, we may put some more slabs there. Uh, I could see us putting just different kind of tools. We might put a brewing stand, depending on if we want all of that built into here. Next, let's create, oh, wrong way. We don't even need in that crate. So let's move it out of the way and put it over here for now. And we can store some stone tools in there. So next, let's create a nice little sitting area. Oh, we do not want that to go that way. We have a couple of seats right here and just a nice little table between them, a little nook. Over here, I think we should go ahead and create our bedroom area. We'll do that with two beds now. We have upgraded. We now have a nice full-size bed and I'll go ahead and rip up this flooring like this and put in some of this calcite just to create a difference in space and what we might do in the future is put some amethyst under the bed just to add a splash of color so not sure what we'll do with this area yet but it could be uh, an eating area, but I don't like to make the houses too cluttered because you do still have to move through them. What else do we have in our goodies? Have some more decorative items now. And so let's put down some carpet, nice little welcome mat. Um, let's upgrade the lighting in here and do this by adding some chains, and then adding some lanterns like that. Lastly, we can put in a nice painting. I think that we should probably put it above the door. To me, that's a little cliche, but I do think it's a good spot for it. Remind us of the outside world. And then over here somewhere, or maybe over here, we can put this nice item frame. Let's put it above the saw for now. And we can fill it with something like a clock and it'll even glow because we used a glow squid ink sack. But here we are, our nice new home. What do you all think of this? Let me know down in the comments, but we should really get to, and we have the bucket, yes. We should really get to tending to our sugar cane so that it continues to grow well. So we're gonna need some more dirt and I did leave a bunch of, see that is already full again. It's, it's an unlimited fuel source. So here are a bunch of our tools that I had dropped off before grabbing all of those decorative things. Let's go ahead and grab them all again. And we will need bucket to grab some more water and so for now I think that it's okay if these sugar cane grow here we can pop that in there and we'll just start to carve out a little grid system for the sugar cane to grow in
and we can go ahead and extend it this far. I don't know if we have enough to actually move them that way. So let's start filling in all of these holes with some water. For a while, while I was getting prepared for this video, I was afraid that the sugar cane wasn't going to grow down here. It took forever for it to start growing, though. So we want that right there. And then we'll put another block right here. Maximize, maximize that space. So let's, oh, not there. Drop it there. I guess I'm having some mouse issues today. Little happy fingers. Ready, or not ready, but excited to be back on making videos. So let's harvest all of those. We can start plopping them all around and see. Uh, we do have some expansion room, so we'll be able to place down even more. And what we should probably do is provide a little bit more light for them just to help them through that growing process. So how many do we have here? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, somewhere around 12, which is a good start. And we should go ahead and harvest these trees, get caught up on all of our farming. And we'll let those disintegrate and dissolve. We can start planting them back where they were, but what, um, how much? Well, that's only 16. So we'll, we'll keep with the, the oak trees for a minute, but I think we are running low on the birch wood. So maybe after a couple more of these trees grow, we will transition back to birch or spruce. And since we have this spruce, I'll go ahead and Put it down over here. It has not grown over there in a while. After being there for a while. So, this is our cave area. Um, let's go ahead and grab about four blocks of amethyst. And we can put that under our bed. Uh, we can transfer this lava bucket into our blast furnace. Oh. And do we have... we might not. Yeah, we do not have the clock with us. We must have left that back at the forward operating base, which is perfectly okay. Um, but that is what I had planned to put in the item frame. Nice little framed clock piece. So let's pop down here, row amethyst under the bed, like sleeping on a cloud. There we go, pretty cool. And after walking under these, I do think that we should elevate them by one chain link just so they're a little bit more out of the way. There we go. We're gonna drop that in there, and we can move some of our food items over here, and it's looking pretty nice. I'm liking our home here. Go over here and see. Sometimes some trees pop in over there, or dissolve over there, wow. And we are getting Quite a few apples now. Very cool. We definitely have lots of food sources now between apples, carrots. Um, do we have? I don't think we have potatoes, but we have wheat, of course. And look at all of this meat that we got from our above ground adventure. 
grab all of those. Might as well grab at least oh half the carrots. I think that's all the oh another apple. Oh and our oh we do we have shield but let's do that. Okay, drop. Oh, not crafting. We're dropping our food off. And here, probably half of those too. And I don't think there's any use to having raw food. So, and we, we can't cook it in the blast furnace, but you know what we could make? We could make a smoker. Because that might actually work better in the kitchen. And then we can move the blast furnace over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's move the blast furnace. And I think it'll go nicely to the stone cutter. Like that. We can put the polished andesite over here. And then we need to make a smoker. And I know that will take several different types of stone, which we don't have here. So let's go back into our hidey hole. That's kind of our storage unit as well. And grab some stone things. All right, sorry about that, but here we go. We're going to need some more stone to create furnace, just a regular one. And then we will need, well, just take it. Oh, don't need that. Um, so we create a furnace and then is it four like this? Yep. And there is a smoker, which will cook our food faster. And since we have a nice lava bucket, we don't even need to worry about the fuel cost. We can just throw that in there and it'll smoke away. Look at it go. Now I wonder, should we extend this countertop and extend this countertop? Um, I just didn't want to make too narrow of a path. But let me know what you think down in the comments. So this has been a pretty design heavy uh, episode as we continue to survive and thrive down here in the cave life in caves and cliffs update. Oh, that one was not ready. Uh, and I know we don't need the food for this, but what I do it for is to grab all of these nice seeds and then we can turn the seeds into into a bone meal using the compost bin right here. So just dump all the seeds in there and eventually... Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, that is not... Button I meant to hit. Over here. He just fell out of the sky or something. Snuck up on us. Um, where were we? <laughs> Completely threw it off. Alright, we got two out of that. Very nice. And we can come dump that over here in our storage bin for outside resources. Here we go. And we do have the bucket on us, so let's go ahead and grab another lava bucket. And come over here. And we got all of that cooked up. So let's throw those in there. We can switch out these buckets. So very 
Cool. We can throw our wheat in there. So in the next episode, hopefully we can redesign this outdoor space, outdoor inside the cave. I don't know what you call that. I mean, we're, I guess we're outdoors, but we're in a cave, so we're not above ground outside. Feels different, you know, but we can redesign this a little bit more, just kind of this middle space. We've done well in our farm, but then the rest of this could use some cleaning up. So let me know down in the comments what you think we ought to do with that space, uh, how we should design it, and I will continue to tend to our crops of uh, sugar cane and our trees, and in the next episode, we can keep on building and surviving and thriving and exploring and just having a good time. So thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on TikTok and Twitter at Agent Green Games to stay up to date with the latest announcements, the latest videos, and all of the good things like that. Hope to see you watching in the next episode, and I hope that you see me in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.